There are new images coming in of Katie Holmes tonight. Cameras following her every move here in New York City. But there are also new questions about her split with Tom Cruise and whether or not the Church of Scientology played a role. ABC's Dan Harris on that tonight. Today, the woman at the center of a tabloid tempest, Katie Holmes, was captured in Manhattan without her wedding ring. According to published reports, one of the main reasons why Holmes filed for divorce from Tom Cruise was religion. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist. Cruz is the most famous member of the Church of Scientology, a faith founded 60 years ago by science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard. The church, which says that through counseling sessions called audits, it can heal people of past traumas, has been involved in many no, controversies. Here. You listen no. to me for a second. Reportedly, Holmes, who was raised Catholic, feared that her husband would pull their six-year-old daughter, Suri, more deeply into the faith. Jenna Miscavige Hill, the niece of the man who runs Scientology, David Miscavige, has come forward in recent years to say that more than a decade ago, she was forced to perform manual labor at age six and at age seven forced to sign a billion year loyalty contract. It means that like in Scientology, they believe that you live lifetime after lifetime. The church denies children are forced to do manual labor. In what could be a sign of things to come for Katie Holmes, former church official Debbie Cook says people who leave the church are often excommunicated. Do you and your husband still have family in the church? Yes, we do. And do you have a continuing relationship with them? No, they have actually been asked or pressured in some way to, to not communicate to us right now. How painful is that? That's very painful. The church denies this and dismisses Cook as a defrocked apostate. Outside Katie Holmes' apartment tonight, the cameras are lined up. Both Holmes and Cruz have publicly pleaded for privacy, saying their top priority right now is their children. David? Dan Harris here in New York. Dan, thanks to you.